In this video, we will take a look at how we can use proportions to solve application problems in the real world. One way we can use proportions is to measure tall items by only looking at their shadow. For example, a six-foot-tall man casts a shadow that's three and a half feet long. If the shadow of the flagpole is eight feet long, how tall is the flagpole? To help us compare, we're going to set this problem up in a proportion. To help us organize this proportion, we're going to clearly label what the numerator and denominator tells us. What we're comparing is the shadow and the height. So we'll la label one as the shadow and one as the height. This means the numerators will always be shadows and the denominators will always be heights. It actually doesn't matter which order we label these, we could have put the height on top and we'd end up with the same final result. Next, we try and fill in a fraction with numbers, no variables, with numbers that relate shadow and height together. We have a six-foot tall man with a 3.5-foot shadow. Those numbers go together, talking about the same situation. The height of the man is six feet and the shadow of the man is three and a half feet. Now we look at the other number, the eight feet, and try and decide, is that a shadow or is it a height? Well, clearly it says that it's the shadow of the flagpole is eight feet. So we'll put the eight on top with the shadow and our unknown, our variable, x, goes in the denominator for the height of the flagpole. We can solve this proportion quickly by calculating the cross product, 3.5x equals 48. To get the x alone, we'll divide both sides by 3.5 and we find the approximate height of the flagpole is about 13.7 feet tall. Let's try another example that's a little more involved. In this problem, we have a basketball game where the home team was down by nine points at the uh, end of the game. This is because they only scored six points for every seven points the visiting team scored. Our question is, what was the final score of the game? Here, we're comparing the home team to the visiting team. We'll put the home team on top and the visiting team on the bottom, though the order doesn't matter as long as we're consistent once we've labeled them. To fill in the first fraction, we need numbers that compare the home team and visiting team together. We're told that the home team scored six points for every seven points the visiting team scored. We'll use six for home, seven for visitors. The other piece of information we must read carefully. They're down by nine points. Down by nine points means they have nine points less than the visiting team. But we don't know how many points the visiting team has, so let's call that x. The home team then, being down by nine, we would need to subtract nine from x or the visiting team score. Now we have a proportion we can solve by multiplying our diagonals. Six x equals seven times, remembering our parentheses, x minus nine. We now have an equation we can solve by first distributing the seven to get six x equals seven x minus sixty three. Subtracting the 7x from both sides, negative x equals negative 63, and then dividing both sides by negative 1 to get x equals 63. Be careful with this number that we make sure we know what it represents. x, we said, was the visiting team score. The visitors have 63 points. The home team is x minus nine. 63 minus nine is 54. The home team lost by a score of 63 to 54. By clearly labeling the numerator and denominator of our proportion, we can set it up, placing the numbers in the correct place, and then use the cross product to solve.